We have got an absolute ton of material to cover today, so I'm just gonna dive right into it. First on our list is Haley Joel Osment. He exploded onto the child acting scene in the mid to late 90s and rose quickly to Macaulay Culkin status. He became famous for some of his famous lines. I see dead but is still being quoted and featured today on shows like Conan O'Brien for not so famous lines like Walker told me I have AIDS. So Haley played the kid who saw dead people. He played Forrest Gump's son. He also played what looks like a miniature pedophile here. But over the past few years, where has he been and what's he been doing? He actually has constantly been acting, but because of the money he was able to make earlier in his life, he's able to select his roles very carefully now and only plays parts that he really wants to play. Over the past few years, he's done a lot of voiceover work for video games like Kingdom Hearts. He also appeared recently in an independent film about a homeschooled girl where he portrayed this gay person. And he's also appeared and starred in several other indie films. Now in 2006, he was arrested for DUI when he hit a brick mailbox and flipped his car over one day. But as you can see by this charming mugshot, he felt very bad for what he's done and stated that he would never do it again. And in all seriousness, he did state that he felt very bad for the example that he set for those who looked up to him. He has two new movies coming out in the next couple of years. Not sure whether or not they're big budget films or independent films or what's going on with those, but watch out for them. Next on the list are Spy Kids, Daryl Sabara and Alexa Vega. They've both grown up and are still active in film careers. Daryl makes regular appearances on the show Weeds, as well as appearing in the movie John Carter that just came out, and lost more money than any other movie in history or something like that. And he was also in something like the fourth Spy Kids movie making a guest appearance. So that's pretty much what he's been up to. I guess he's got a several films coming out in the near future, so watch out for him. And then Alexa Vega is kind of the same story. She's been acting over the past several years. She also appeared in the Spy Kids 4 movie. But she has four movies in post-production right now that are due out next year. So she's been extremely busy. If you're a fan of either of these kids, watch out for them as well. You may recognize Bug Hall from his appearance in the 1994 film Little Rascals, where he portrayed Alfalfa. Now you may be surprised to learn that many of the Little Rascals actors did not continue acting long after that film. Bug Hall is one of the exceptions. However, Bug's career has not been that successful. It's been filled mostly with small films or guest star appearances on shows like Nikita, NCIS, or other shows like that. He usually only appears in one or two episodes at a time and doesn't have any big films coming out in the near future, but watch out for him on your television screen. Last on my list today is actor Kel Mitchell, who you'll of course recognize from Good Burger, All That, Mystery Men, and Keenan and Kel. I've had a lot of people ask me where he has been over the past few years. Keenan, of course, is a cast member on Saturday Night Live, but many people think that Kel just isn't around anymore. They, of course, are mistaken. In 2011, Kel just appeared in Battle for Los Angeles. He also has done extensive voiceover work for different cartoons like Clifford, the Big Red Dog, and has appeared in several other TV series and TV movies. Kel got married a few years ago and now is acting, rapping, and dancing. So he's a busy guy. Watch out for him. Maybe you'll see him on one of your favorite shows. That about covers it for the day, so thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this is the Herald Angel.